AppFormer is a novel framework for mobile app usage prediction, leveraging progressive multimodal data fusion and feature extraction. This approach addresses the challenges of accurately predicting future app usage patterns based on historical data. The framework integrates various types of data, including user behavior, app characteristics, and environmental factors, which are fused progressively to capture complex relationships between these modalities. The fusion process involves multiple stages, each aimed at extracting meaningful features from the combined datasets. This allows AppFormer to consider both short-term and long-term dependencies in app usage patterns, as well as the impact of external factors such as time of day, location, and device type. The authors emphasize the need for a flexible and adaptive prediction model that can accommodate changing user preferences and behavior. By incorporating these factors, AppFormer can provide more accurate predictions of future app usage patterns. The framework's progressive data fusion approach enables it to capture complex relationships between different modalities, leading to more accurate predictions. Additionally, AppFormer's ability to adapt to changing user behavior and preferences makes it a promising approach for mobile app usage prediction. Overall, AppFormer offers a novel and effective solution for predicting mobile app usage patterns, with potential applications in personalized recommendation systems, app development, and mobile network optimization. The AppFormer Framework's Fusion Module is a cross-modal data fusion module, leveraging cross-modal and self-attention techniques to integrate data from application sequences, points of interest, POA, user IDs, and time. This approach ensures data integrity, fosters data synthesis, and significantly improves feature extraction and analysis quality. The pre-processing of location and time data is enhanced, prioritizing user privacy and refining location data representation through clustering. Time data undergoes word embedding and concatenation before joining the fusion process, ensuring comprehensive data integration. Extensive experiments validate AppFormer's state-of-the-art performance, achieving scores of 31.92% and 42.68% representing improvements of 4.75% and 7.89% over existing methods. The application prediction problem involves forecasting potential applications users may use in the future, based on historical information. Literature research establishes a strong correlation between time information, user information, location information, and application usage. The problem is decomposed into three parts. Mining and expression of core data fusion of multimodal data, and feature extraction network. Correlation analysis between core data and application prediction reveals strong correlations between location, time, and user information. Mining and expression of core data involve data encoding, similar to word embedding in natural language processing, NLP. Word embedding methods, such as Word2Vec, Glove, and Fast Text, can be applied to relevant data in app prediction. Fusion of multimodal data is critical, capturing the correspondence between different types of contextual information data. Traditional methods include co-training algorithms, co-regularization algorithms, marginal consistency algorithms, and multiple kernel learning. More complex techniques, such as deep Boltzmann machines, autoencoders, and convolutional neural networks, have also been used for multimodal data fusion. Recent approaches, including the Multimodal Transformer, Multimodal Temporal Graph Attention Network, Spatial Fusion Encoding, Multimodal Attention-Based Feature Fusion, and Modality Invariant Cross-Modal Attention, have further enriched the field of application prediction. Feature extraction networks, such as stacked long short-term memory architectures, have been employed in deep learning techniques for feature extraction. The paper addresses the prediction of mobile application usage based on historical data, highlighting the limitations of existing work in this field. These limitations include issues with data representation, fusion, and feature extraction. To address these problems, the authors propose a new system aimed at improving prediction accuracy and user experience. The proposed system utilizes a dataset collected from Shanghai, China, during a week-long period in April 2016. This dataset includes anonymous user IDs, timestamps, base station IDs, and app usage data, organized chronologically by timestamp. The authors aim to develop a predictive model capable of precisely predicting the next application a user is likely to use, 
ranking potential next apps in descending order of likelihood. The mathematical representation of the model is given as a n plus 1 equals f x n m plus 1 n where x n m plus 1 n represents a multi-dimensional feature sequence incorporating essential historical data required for prediction. This sequence includes sequences of app IDs, user IDs, timestamps, base station IDs, and points of interest POI, vectors, integrated into a coherent structure for the predictive model. The authors also discuss various existing frameworks for app usage prediction, such as App Usage 2 VEC, Deep App, and DUGN which model application usage records by taking into account the contributions of various applications, personalized user features, and temporal context. They emphasize the need for a new system that can effectively handle and integrate multimodal data, extract useful features from raw data, and provide accurate and stable predictions. The paper discusses the pre-processing of data for app usage prediction, focusing on the implementation of word embeddings, clustering techniques to points of interest, PWA, data, and encoding temporal data. It begins by exploring methodologies employed for data selection and preprocessing, including the transformation of discrete app sequences into a continuous vector space using word embedding techniques. The specific embedding process is represented by the equation E equals NN. Embedding, N, D, where E denotes the embedding matrix, N represents the total number of apps, and DIS the dimension of the embedding vector. For each app in the sequence, the corresponding embedding vector can be found from the embedding matrix using its ID, as represented by the equation V equals E, I. The paper also highlights the importance of POI data, which reflects socioeconomic activities characteristic of the areas around the base stations, encompassing categories such as medical care, hotels, and business affairs. Table 2 displays the POI linked to the three base stations mentioned in Table I providing insight into the local functionalities and services available in their vicinity. Furthermore, the paper introduces the AppFormer framework, offering a comprehensive overview and then proceeding to elaborate on its two primary components, the Multimodal Data Progressive Fusion Module and the Feature Extraction Module. This framework is designed to enhance the prediction of app usage patterns by leveraging the socioeconomic activities characteristic of the areas around the base stations. The paper discusses the processing of various data types, including application sequences, user IDs, points of interest, PWA, and time data, to prepare them for analysis. For PWA, the authors employ several clustering algorithms, such as k-means, mini-batch k-means, k-means plus plus, k-modes, and k-harmonic means, to group similar PWA together. They find that k-modes achieves the best results. The process involves initializing modes, calculating mode distances, updating modes based on assigned data points, and iterating until modes no longer change. After clustering, each POI vector is replaced with its corresponding cluster center vector. This prepares the data for further operations, such as linear transformations to obtain location data. The paper highlights the importance of efficient data processing for effective analysis in the context of application sequences, user IDs, and time data. The AppFormer framework, a predictive model for app usage sequences, harnesses the power of multimodal data. It consists of two key components, the Multimodal Data Progressive Fusion Module and the Feature Extraction Module. The Multimodal Data Progressive Fusion Module integrates encoded app vector, user vector, POI vector, and time vector in a stepwise manner, preparing the data for the feature extraction modules encoder and decoder. Inspired by the decoder module in the transformer, the cross-modal data fusion module enhances clarity around the computational workflow. The data fusion process for both the encoder and decoder involves cross-modal fusion using the cross-modal data fusion module incorporating location and temporal details. This fusion process significantly improves the predictive accuracy of app usage sequences. The results of this comparison are presented in section VIC. The AppFormer algorithm is introduced, integrating a multimodal data progressive fusion module and a feature extraction module. The fusion module combines app, user, POI, and time vectors through linear transformations and cross-modal data fusion operations. The output is then prepared for the encoder input by adding positional encoding. 
The decoder input is prepared separately by concatenating the app vector and POI vector, followed by positional encoding. The feature extraction module employs a self-attention mechanism, using multi-head self-attention and feed-forward layers to process the encoder input. The output is then used as the query, key, and value for cross-modal attention, which is applied to the decoder input. The final output vector EPRID is obtained by taking the last vector of the cross-modal attention output and applying a linear transformation. A comparison of data fusion methods for mobile app prediction is presented in Table 3, highlighting the limitations and applicability of various approaches, including NAP, DeepApp, PAULCI, App Usage 2 VEC, and DUGN. These methods are criticized for overlooking data relationships, scalability issues, and limitations in capturing complex interactions and dynamic user preferences. The cross-modal attention and cross-modal data fusion module are introduced for multimodal app usage data. This module consists of multi-head self-attention, feed-forward networks, and a cross-modal data fusion component. The encoder transforms the input data into a complex high-dimensional representation using a combination of multi-head self-attention and feed-forward networks to capture intricate dependencies within the data. The decoder decodes this representation and combines it with an additional conditional vector to produce the target sequence. The interaction between the encoder and decoder is facilitated through the cross-modal data fusion module, which takes the vector from the last dimension applies a linear transformation, and uses it as the final output. This module is designed to handle multimodal data and capture complex interactions between different modalities. A comparison of feature extraction methods for mobile app prediction is presented in Table IV. These methods include NAP, DeepApp, PAULCI, App Usage 2 VEC, and DUGN, each with its strengths and limitations. NAP uses LSTMs to handle sequential data but falls short in processing multimodal data. DeepApp uses multiple groups to analyze concatenated data but struggles with capturing deep temporal dependencies. PAULCI combines GRU networks with an attention layer but applies attention mechanisms too simplistically. App Usage 2 VEC employs dual deep neural networks to extract user and application features but may overlook complex multimodal interactions. DUGN utilizes a combination of temporal gating mechanisms, hierarchical graph attention networks, and self-attention mechanisms to deeply understand user interests but relies on data quality and has limited adaptability. The distinction between encoder and decoder inputs is crucial with the complete dataset input into the encoder to capture complex dependencies and the decoder tasked with decoding the high-dimensional representation and producing the target sequence. The cross-modal data fusion module algorithm is designed to combine encoded app vector backquote a backquote and poi vector backquote l backquote into a more comprehensive feature vector. It initializes weight matrices for multi-head self-attention and cross-modal attention applies masked multi-head self-attention to input backquote a backquote, followed by multi-head cross-modal attention using the self-attention output as query, and poi vector backquote l backquote as key and value. The output of the cross-modal attention is then fed into a feedforward network, with the final output obtained after another residual connection and layer normalization. The modularity of the feature extraction module is highlighted allowing for easy swapping of its components with those from other well-known architectures. Experiments were conducted by replacing corresponding parts of the feature extraction module with modules from Autoformer, Fedformer, and Quatformer, demonstrating the flexibility and potential improvements of the current architecture. Evaluation metrics used to assess the effectiveness of different methods include an F1 score with a macro setting. These metrics will be used to compare the performance of the proposed model with other state-of-the-art models. This research paper presents a comprehensive evaluation of machine learning classifiers and deep learning models for sequence-based tasks. The authors compare their proposed approach with traditional methods, highlighting the advantages of leveraging long short-term memory (LSTM) and gated recurrent unit (GRU) architectures. Notably, the paper introduces the use of attention networks and multitask learning to improve model performance. The experimental setup is meticulously detailed, with a focus on sequence length settings, embedding dimensions, and training regimens.
The authors demonstrate the efficacy of their approach through a series of experiments, showcasing significant improvements over traditional methods. A key contribution of this paper is the integration of attention mechanisms, which enable the model to selectively focus on relevant input features. This innovation is particularly noteworthy, as it allows the model to capture complex patterns and relationships in sequence data. The paper's use of multitask learning is another significant aspect, as it enables the model to jointly learn multiple related tasks. This approach is shown to improve overall performance and robustness, particularly in scenarios where limited training data is available. The authors provide a thorough analysis of the results, highlighting the strengths and limitations of their approach. Future work directions are also discussed, including the potential application of this methodology to other sequence-based tasks. Overall, this paper presents a novel and significant contribution to the field of machine learning, offering a powerful approach for sequence-based tasks. The authors present a comprehensive evaluation of AppFormer, a novel method for mobile app prediction, comparing its performance with various baseline methods. As shown in Table V, AppFormer outperforms other methods, including PAULCI, in terms of mean reciprocal rank, MRR, and F1 scores. The significance of incorporating user information, spatiotemporal information, and historical app sequences in mobile app prediction is highlighted. Previous research has gradually incorporated these types of data, leading to steady improvements in performance metrics. An ablation study of AppFormer is conducted, examining the key components of the approach. Systematic removal of components under three different configurations reveals performance degradation, indicating the importance of time information handling and integration, as well as point of interest, POI, data clustering. The authors also compare their improved time encoding and fusion methods with traditional approaches, demonstrating the superiority of their method in capturing the inherent patterns of time information. Furthermore, an ablation experiment is conducted on the AppFormer decoder input, feeding different data into the decoder and observing the effects on performance. The results demonstrate the effectiveness of AppFormer in mobile app prediction, highlighting its ability to merge different types of data and enhance feature extraction, leading to superior results compared to other methods. The author's approach showcases the importance of incorporating user information, spatiotemporal information, and historical app sequences in mobile app prediction, leading to improved performance metrics. The experiments conducted to evaluate the performance of the proposed AppFormer model have yielded promising results. Table V compares AppFormer with other methods based on DUGN, showing that AppFormer outperforms all other methods in terms of and metrics. A series of ablation experiments, presented in tables VIIIX, demonstrate the effectiveness of specific modules and time encoding methods within AppFormer. The optimal results are obtained when using only POI data and the AppFormer plus K plus T model, highlighting the importance of minimizing redundant data in the decoder's operation. Clustering experiments in table 11 further support the model's effectiveness, with the best results achieved at a cluster size of 5. These findings collectively demonstrate the AppFormer model's superiority in various aspects. The authors present a comprehensive evaluation of various clustering methods for determining the optimal number of cluster centers in point of interest POI, data. This phase is crucial in identifying the most suitable clustering approach for the data, as it guides the selection of cluster quantities and methods. The authors employ a methodical exploration to understand the underlying patterns in POI data. Figures 511 provide a visual representation of the performance trends and clustering results. Specifically, Figure 5 illustrates the performance trends with different cluster sizes, while Figure 6 provides a detailed analysis of cluster sizes 010. The K modes, mini batch K means, K means, K means plus plus, and K harmonic means visualizations are presented in Figures 711, respectively. To determine the optimal number of cluster centers, the authors utilize the basic k-means algorithm in combination with AppFormer for the cluster center comparison experiment. This approach is justified, as other clustering algorithms are evolved or improved based on k-means. By evaluating the clustering methods with the established number of cluster centers, the authors can identify the most suitable approach for their POI data. Experimental results for cluster sizes 010, as shown in Table 12, 
reveal that the optimal number of clusters for POI data is 5, based on mean reciprocal rank, MRR, and F1 score. However, the relationship between cluster count and performance is nonlinear, with performance generally decreasing as the number of clusters increases from 5 to 55. The K-Modes algorithm demonstrates superior clustering performance, effectively handling noise and maintaining data centrality. This highlights the importance of balancing the number of clusters to ensure meaningful grouping without excessive fragmentation. The study's findings provide valuable insights into the optimal clustering strategy for POI data, emphasizing the need to carefully select the number of clusters to achieve effective data grouping. I'm happy to help. However, it seems that the content to refine is missing. Please provide the original text, and I'll be happy to refine it according to the guidelines you specified. I'll transform the text into a direct, concise form suitable for voiceover narration, maintaining technical accuracy and depth while explaining key terms, concepts, and methodologies with precision and clarity. Mobile app usage prediction is a crucial aspect of understanding user behavior, enabling the development of personalized experiences and optimized resource allocation. Recent research has focused on sequence modeling and time series forecasting to predict future app usage based on past data. One key approach is sequence fusion, which combines multiple sequences to capture complex patterns in app usage. Trois-phase sequence modeling has also been proposed, where the first phase models short-term dependencies and the second phase captures long-term patterns. Furthermore, deep reinforcement learning has been applied to app usage prediction allowing for adaptive and dynamic modeling of user behavior. In addition to these novel methods, researchers have explored the application of transformers in time series forecasting. This is particularly important for long-term predictions, where efficient and accurate models are essential. The transformer architecture has been shown to be effective in capturing complex temporal dependencies and patterns in app usage data. These advancements in mobile app usage prediction have significant implications for various stakeholders, including app developers, advertisers, and network operators. By accurately predicting app usage patterns, these stakeholders can optimize resource allocation, improve user experiences, and enhance overall efficiency. The research in this field has highlighted the importance of developing efficient and accurate models for long-term predictions, as well as the need for adaptive and dynamic modeling of user behavior. Future work should focus on addressing the limitations of current approaches, such as handling cold start problems and incorporating additional contextual information into app usage prediction models.